Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, we in here once again on the Shabbat. On this, what's the date today, y'all? The 27th. The 27th day in May of 2023. Hallelujah. Who are excited about uh, being amongst his children. Hallelujah. Once again, no greater people on planet Earth. Hallelujah. Who are than his children. Uh, the seed of Abraham. I'd like to say and proclaim even for uh, uh, those that don't quite believe. I know one thing, the African-Americans served 400 years on record. It's on record. Mm -hmm. For the whole world to see. Serve 400. <clears throat> and I'm glad we're on the other side of the 400. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Oh, we serve 400. <laughs> it's funny how in uh, uh, Genesis... Of 15, 12 through 14, the Most High had shared a, a dream uh, with, with Abraham, Abram at the time. Teresa, good to see you in here, Charvet. Always a pleasure. But um, shared a dream and told him that his seed would, would be in a land not their own with a strange people. In a strange land, and there they would uh, be slaved, enslaved, and mistreated for 400 years. And then he said, and after that, he's going to judge that nation that mistreated his children. Take it for whatever you want to take it for. <clears throat> Believe it or not, Genesis. 15, 12 through 14, take it up with the scripture and now take it up with history. The fact that the African American had been enslaved in America for 400 years and mistreated. Barbara, good to see you in here. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. And I promise you, you can see judgment is in the land, like it or not. This is we the people. Now what? Part nine. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Let's give him a praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 All right, y'all. <clears throat> We're going back to Jeremiah who or Jeremiah 31 and 31. Let's pray. Spirit living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly to know how we're in your presence because we love you. Uh, we need you desperately. We're on this rest day. We're resting from our activities that we might uh, govern yours. Resting in the Ruach. Resting from sin. Resting from our agenda. That we might continue to, again to, to govern yours. We're asking you to send a relevant word or to this to this hear your children in these last and evil days and uh, uh, prepare the Goshen that we so de desperately need. And we're depending on you for for the for the ark of safety, for even more revelation of truth. Uncatholicize us. Give us the truth of your word, these new terms, these new uh, uh, satanic mixtures of your truth with paganism. Continue to deliver us uh, uh, from, from even that. We want to be delivered from idol worship. We want to be delivered from anything that's not like you. We want to be delivered from everything that's not like you. Deliver your children. Deliver us. We decree it. And now we're looking for direction as you move forth uh, in judgment. We need direction from you. Send that direction. 
Send your word and we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forever. In the master's name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Killer, good to see you in here. Shalom, shalom, shabbat shalom. Got my mama in here, got my mother-in-law in here. Got my mother Katie in here too. I'm surrounded with mothers, y'all. Y'all in trouble now, see? Got my son in here. Got Charvet in here and Mo. Uh, Elder Cam holding down what he do faithfully. Do Frank with me? Yeah, that's my that's my that's my brother from another mother as well. And we 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 in here, y'all. Um, <clears throat> Carrie, good to see you in here. Always a pleasure. We in Jeremiah thirty one thirty one. Let's deal with it. We the people now. What part nine? 31, 31. Yep. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. I mean, just for me to park right there for a minute, that's good news. I keep telling y'all over and over again because it really is brief. Especially, especially when you're dealing with a demographic of people that have been homeless for so many years. More than 400. Uh, they lost their land in 70 AD. Between 66 AD and 70 AD, they've been on the run and they've been homeless. And that's prior to concluding with the 400 years of homelessness. In that duration of homelessness, they didn't know who they were and whose they were. Amnesia hit them in the 400 years. When, when, they, when they got captured, and if you look at the maps, when they got captured in Negro land, over there by the, stray, the slave coast, you know, the ivory coast, what was it, the Grain Coast? What was it, the, how many coast? The, the Diamond Coast? Mm -hmm. Ivory Coast. Yeah, I said the Ivory. But anyway, back to the point. Right there in that same geographical area, it was called Negro Land. Mm -hmm. If you look up the maps, look up, y'all Google Negro Land. And that's where the journey started to answer to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 <coughs> when he said, I'm going to ship you into Egypt and you'll be sold as slave men and slave women and no man shall buy you. And the no buy you means in biblical slavery, you were never deemed, you know, to be three-fifths of the human being or nor were you... It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't chattel slavery. You know, you can have a family and you wasn't raped and you wasn't slaughtered and murdered and all, you know, just dehumanized. And, and biblical slavery was more based on uh, uh, casualties of war or, and like you're in debt, you're in debt and you had to pay, you had to work off your debt. Some people became slaves intentionally to pay off a debt. I'm going to work for you, you know, until, you know, we pay it off like indentured ser servants. Indentured servant, yeah. And with that being said, uh, but uh, if, you're, if your kinfolk come along, they can buy you out, pay your debt, and then you're free. Yeah, and then, you know, after so many years, you know, you would be set free. The debt would be cleared, the jubilees. But when it says, and no man shall buy you, 
you got to look at no man is going to get you out of this predicament, out of this slavery. You know, there, there might be some activists come along and speak on your behalf, but it ain't going to work. You, you might even be might even be a civil war, you know, but that ain't going to work. You're still going to be in the land of your captivity and you're still going to be the, ta the, the tail and not the head. Because the Most High had deemed that his children would be the head and not the tail. They would be above and not beneath. They would be the brokers of the earth. They would be the ones that lend to everybody and never borrow. But if you cross me, which his, history proves uh, that the children of Israel went against him, uh, you're going you're gonna to you're gonna, you're gonna pay. You're gonna. And so... When you're dealing with a people that end up losing their identity and then losing the, the ordained oracles on how to govern a relationship with the Most High, they lost all that because it was hijacked. And it was changed. Like one of the main culprits, again, was Constantine. In 325 um, AD, at the Council of Nicaea, where they took the Hebrew truths and, and started to mix it and change it, adding Luciferian practices getting rid of all the feast days and the festivals, which was uh, memorials for us never to forget. Reminders. We weren't taught none of our reminders in church. We were taught a bunch of substitutes mixed with paganism, with satanic and luciferian roots. And that's how we came up in church with new additives like Christmas mm -hmm. and Easter. Mm. You know. And uh, we, we, we ended up with Halloween. Mm. You know. And Valentine's Day. Just all these things. You got to look at the root, the root of these things. We the people. But now what? So, when we look at 31 and 31, I'm going to go forward with my point. Don Deems, good to see you in here. Uh, did I say what's up to you, Barbara? Always in here faithfully. My wife in here, I know you're on your way. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Um... He didn't forget about us. So the new covenant that he's making, he's making it still with the seed of Abraham. Woods, good to see you in here, sir. It's still with the children of Israel. Even though we were taught we were replaced. <laughs> Come to find out that that's not true. And the Bible addressed it. But the people that's carrying the Bible in the in the in the Bible uh, uh, colleges, the, the theological schools, put a twist on it. They don't they don't they, they don't they don't teach you that. They they teach more of a replacement of theology. When when you when you look at this thing, you look at the Torah and the Tanakh. You got some folks that went inside of uh, Palestine, which is Jerusalem, but they went into Palestine in 1947 and they was established a nation in 1948. And they did that according to scripture. They were borrowing from the scripture saying that the most high would redeem his children from slavery. He would go across the four corners of the earth to rescue uh, the 12 tribes of Israel and, and put them back in the land. 
See, these people know scripture. And what they did was they went back in as if they were fulfilling that scripture. I will admit that they did fulfill scripture, but just not that part. And you'd have to know that they're the Ashkenazi Jews and there's not 12 tribes. Most High said he getting all 12 tribes. Are y'all with me? He getting all 12 tribes and bringing them back in the land. That's number one. And, and 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 number two, he will be getting them from the lands where they were slaves for 400 years and where they were being mistreated as well. So they had to be scattered, slaves, homeless. They'd have to be the tail and not the head. Where they are, they're not rich and they're not running nothing. Well, these people that went in in 1947 is very rich and they run in everything. They run in all the industries and uh, control all the news and respond for all the propaganda. A uh, little freaky people too, but that's a whole nother conversation for right now. And they don't fit the criteria of them being rescued by the most high and brought back into the land. Are y'all with me? But they do fulfill scripture. Don't get it twisted. When you look at, uh, let's go to Luke 21. They do fulfill scripture though. Um, y'all help me find the scripture because I'm tripping, man. You said Luke 21? 21. I don't know why I can't find it. <laughs> this is funny to me. You want my Bible? No. I'm going to find it. 24. What page? Luke 21, 24. Look what it says. Sylvester Allen, good to see you in here. We the people, but now what? Part 9. Y'all with me? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. This is going to happen to his real children, right? And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. I'm going to read that again. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Luke 21, 24. They fulfilled this. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles uh, be fulfilled. Are, are y'all with me? What do you mean Jerusalem shall be trodden down? Well, well look, 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 look. I, I could have read more for y'all. <laughs> Maybe I should. Um... I'm just going to read from five just to give you a little more context, just to be fair. <clears throat> 21 and five. And as some spake of the temple, how it would be adorned in goodly stones and gifts. He said, as for these things, which you behold, the days will come in which there shall not be left one stone upon another that should not be thrown down. Y'all know that happened in 70 AD. 
So how are they in Jerusalem right now at the wall? You know how would they be at the wall bobbing their heads? That's another lie. There was no stone left upon another that should not be thrown down. How in the world is there at the temple wall? The temple wall ain't there. It's thrown down. We're dealing with a real liar, ain't we? But listen, seven verse. And they asked him saying, Master, well, when shall these things be? And what sign will there, will there be when these things come to pass? And who should say, take heed that you be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. But when you shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. The end is not yet, y'all. Then said he unto to them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these things, but before all these things, listen, but before all of what we just read, but before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you up to the synagogues and into prison being before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Right? So before all of these wars and rumors of wars and nations against nation, he let them know, no, before that happened, they're going to come get you. And that already came to pass. The disciples at that time, they were all captured Killed and done. Y'all with me? Pay attention. 13th verse. And it shall turn you. And it. Uh, shall turn you. Uh, to you for your testimony. Settle it. Therefore in your hearts. Not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth. Of wisdom and all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And you shall be betrayed both by parents and brothers and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not be a hair of your head that shall perish. Even though you might lose your physical natural life, you're all right. Don't get it twisted. This life is like a vapor of smoke that appeared for a moment and vanished away. Some of us going to go out of here working for him. Don't worry about it. 19 verse. In your presence, in your patience, possess you your souls. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed about with armies, then shall you know the desolation thereof is nigh. And he, so there's going to come a time that, uh, uh, that the Romans was going to surround Jerusalem. Are y'all with me? Going to surround Jerusalem. And that's what happened in 66 AD. And they breached the walls in 70 AD. And that's when uh, they were in major trouble. Now, now why the, the Messiah is telling them all these things going to happen. But the reason why it happened is because they said, give us Barabbas and kill him. So he's letting them know that they're going to get seized. And they did in 70 AD. They're the ones that brought that upon themselves by saying, crucify him, give us Barabbas. Are y'all with me? So he was telling them, when Rome surround this joker and you outside, don't go back in. And if you in there, get out of there because it's going to go down. And according to history, we all know that it went down. I'm going to go back to 20 again. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. He tell you, get out of there. And let them which are in the midst of it depart, depart out. Run, forest, run, listen. And let not them that are in 
the countries enter therein too. Don't go back in now. For these are the days of vengeance. Why? Because they said, give us Barabbas. Crucify the Messiah. In John 1, he said, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become his children. Listen. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written must be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give up in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. Are y'all with me? This is now, they've been on the run ever since. And then they ended up in what I just described to y'all a second ago in Negro land. Where the slave trade happened. Are y'all with me? And they were captured and they were shipped According to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, they were shipped all over the land, right? Listen, they were shipped all over as slaves. Are you with me? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive in all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Okay, so now you got some folks that are Gentiles that are occupying Jerusalem is what this says. You want to see it? Here you go. Genesis 10. I just want to show you. I didn't plan on showing you. That's your business. Genesis 10. We the people. Now what? Part 9. Genesis 10. Bible. 10 and 1. Look what it says. Stay with me. Now these are the generations of the sons of Ham. I mean, of the sons of Noah. Um, this is after the flood, y'all. Just in case you didn't know. This is after the flood. Noah is commissioned to replenish the earth, which in the end times, it's going to be like in the days of Noah. And what happened in the days of Noah was they were doing gene splicing. They were changing people's DNA. And there was an overwhelming amount of homosexuality in the land. And, 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 and the Most High said, I'm destroying this place. Listen. So it's letting us know that the times that we live in, right, it's going to be like in the days of Noah, where it's going to be extremely homosexual, right? Mm -hmm. And they doing stuff to change the DNA. So they, they got shots going on, and they got AI. They, 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 they building stuff. They want to put chips in you. They doing all kind of stuff. We're back. All you got to do is to look at the level of homosexuality. When, when homosexuality get to a certain level, mix with AI, you have to do word studies to find out what was really going on in the days of Noah. And you, you want to acquaint yourself with, with, with like the book of Enoch when you're dealing with the fallen angels and what they was teaching man because there was fallen angels on that side of the flood. But notice that uh, even after the flood, when the Most High entered into a, a relationship with Israel and they went in to spy out the land, there was giants in their as well, a.k.a. the Nephilim. And the Nephilim are the children of the fallen. Giants was there too. So there's still giants, children of the fallen, here with us today. And they're the ones that's teaching all this AI and all this technology that the Most High never intended on us to have. But I'm just giving you the climate of where we at. Back back to what we're talking about. Matty Yahoo, good to see you in here. Uh, Genesis 10. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And after them were sons born after the flood. See, this is after the flood, like I just told y'all. Are y'all with me? The sons of Japheth. Japheth. We're dealing with Japheth, right? Gomer, Magog, Madi, Javan, Tubal, 
Meshef, Tyrus, and the sons of Gomar, Gomar, which is the son of Japheth, right? Ashkenaz. Now, I can keep reading, but I don't want to. Ashkenazis are the ones that, oh, no, I'm going to keep reading. I got to. Ashkenazis are the ones that's in Jerusalem now. They said it. They the Ashkenazi Jews. Are y'all with me? Ashkenaz, Riffith, Tagarma, and the sons of Javan is Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, Donovan. By these were the isles of the what? Gentiles. Gentiles. Divided in their lands, everyone after their tongue and after their family in their nations. So these people are Gentiles. So the people that's in Jerusalem right now is according to scripture. But they ain't the people. They not the people. The people, the, the most high told him in the same chapter, Luke 21, y'all going to be on the run. Y'all going to have been shipped into slavery and on the run. Y'all going to be a conquered people. Now, if you want to study the conquering, again, you look in Leviticus 26, Deuteronomy 28, 29, and even 30. There are conquered people. They're not in the land yet. There was going to be a people going in the land pretending. And they did. They there now. And, and according to Revelation 2 and 9, it say, I know them that say they are Jews and they're not. Or not, but are the synagogue of Satan. It's Luc Lucifer's people in there. Are y'all with me? I just thought I'd share that with you this month. This mo or or y'all decided to share that with you. I didn't know what I was going to do. Back to... Uh, 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 Jeremiah. Oh, 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 we teach you today, uh, uh, for killer. We teach you today. Jeremiah 31, 31. So here we go again. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So he's making a new covenant with the house of Israel and Judah because they broke the covenant. And now you got imposters running the religious system. They got some of the truth, but it's mixed. Are y'all with me? They got some of the truth, but it's mixed. Now, when you really look at this thing and you serve the 400, that means that you're in position to be reconciled with the most high on a whole nother level. You serve the term of punishment. Now you got to get to know y'all all over again. You, you got to know that though. You got to know like if we use the first Egyptian captivity for what it really is in a shadow and a type because it did not satisfy 400 years of slavery and mistreatment. Joseph and them lived it up in Egypt. Mm -hmm. He was second in command. They was balling out of control mm -hmm. for the majority of the stay in Egypt, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you got to use it as a shadow of type. When Moshe, Moses came along, Most High used him to say, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no, that's when the plagues hit, judgment hit, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the most high say after you served the 400, judgment was going to hit. Judgment is here. Are y'all with me? Judgment is here right now. You need to wake up to see on what level. And that's real talk. We need to find out on what level because judgment is being here. You thought from 
sixteen nineteen when we first came here to twenty nineteen to four hundred years when judgment first hit with the virus in twenty nineteen judgment hit as soon as we accomplished our four hundred years judgment hit that's just the beginning of judgment it's going to get real interesting. We're dealing with debt ceilings. We're dealing with Fed now that's coming in July. You can look all this stuff up. The land that mistreated his children is finna get it. While that's happening though, you got to understand that when the Most High was dealing with with the Hebrews in Egypt, did they know him? Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs> no. They knew of him. Okay. The sad part about that, though, Frank, is we know of him, too. We don't know him like we think we do. Okay. Yeah. He hasn't been real, like, up on us and heck of close to us like that. He wasn't really messing with us like that. It's for a reason, too. Because we got a lot of spiritual foolishness going on and we don't even know it. We don't even know. We so Baptist, so so Catholicized, so Christianized. We don't we don't we don't know the origin of Christmas like we should. We don't know the or, or origin of Easter like we should. We don't know the, the origin of communion like we should. We don't even know all these terms like Lord, God, grace, glory, all these terms that are being used is a slap in the most high's face and we don't know it. We weren't supposed to know it because he distanced himself from us because when we knew it, we disrespected him and we broke, we broke the we broke the covenant. We broke the commandment. In fact, Christianity kind of not only whited us out, but they excluded us completely. And their, their Christian worships are a disrespect to the Most High. And it erases everything that were markers and reminders for us. To continue to worship him. Like. Um, Passover. Is replaced by. Uh, Easter. It's deeper. It's, 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 uh, mm -hmm. Yep. You're right. <laughs> by Easter. And the time has changed. Too, because it's not at the same time. It's close, but not at the same time. And so, when being Catholicized, you identify more with Easter and the resurrection when that something different is not Passover. Passover represented something else. Yeah, it represented something else. It did, that wasn't what that Passover was for something else. Easter is for something different than what Passover is for. I'm not going to get into that completely right now. I'm just telling you that. Passover represented something that we were supposed to remember forever. We don't remember. We don't know nothing about it. We know about Easter eggs and bunny rabbits though, uh -huh. which has a satanic origin, which then is coupled with a lie that is talking about the resurrection of the Messiah, which is another lie. I'm just giving you where we at. His birthday. There's a satanic deity that's celebrated on December 25th. The Messiah, uh, uh, a birth, 
wasn't even in that same season. Mm -mm. But yet, we cut down Christmas trees and decorate them, which is some more satanic, ritualistic type stuff, but it's passed off to us <laughs> as if we're <laughs> celebrating his birthday. Then we got this new Messiah with a new look and a new name that from a theological standpoint really doesn't matter. It's just principle. It doesn't matter as long as you got Jesus, you got everything you need. So if one did come show you it's a lie, Luciferian and satanic in its origin, you got a don't matter attitude because you've been Catholicized. Mm -hmm. But it's all a part of the punishment. Mm -hmm. the most High allowed them to do that to you because he said, uh, the Most High will send you a strong delusion that you'll believe a lie, that they all might be damned who don't have love for the truth. Yeah, you, you should know the truth. The truth is what's going to make you free. Free from what? Free from the lie. Because you don't know the most high like you think you do. You got a new version of him that he ain't too fond of. <laughs> it ain't going to work like he think it's going to work. Just like when he had to rescue us out of the first Egypt. They didn't know him like that. Moshe didn't even know him like that. Moshe went to try to rescue them carnally. Killed somebody equivalent to a cop trying to carnally rescue them. And it didn't work. He got ran out of town. He had to be in Midian for 40 years, meet the most high at the bush to even find out his name and then get some true instructions on how to go in and rescue them. Whole nother ball game. Are y'all with me? Now, how masterful the most high is, is in the 400 years of his children being stripped of their identity, becoming a byword and a proverb, becoming a, 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 a astonishment. Yeah. Uh, why is this happening to us? Why, 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 why they, while they going through pure hell on earth based on the punishment, he still didn't completely cast them away, but he made sure you understand you're going to serve, you're going to serve that 400. Don't get it twisted. Let me show y'all something else then. Let's go to Deuteronomy 29 right quick. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Did I finish in 10? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Ah, oh, y'all. Y'all working me. Most high is working me. It's cool. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me put this in here so I don't lose the play. I'm used to dealing with digital stuff nowadays. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, 29, I said. Uh, uh, Twenty-two. Let's rock with twenty-two. Twenty-nine and twenty-two. Rhonda Ponder, Shabbat Shalom. Good to see you in here, big bro. What you know? We in here. We the people now. What? <laughs> Part nine. Yeah, twenty-nine, twenty-two. Look what it says. It says. Th 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 thanks for being up here with us, Samara. Thanks for being oh. up here with us. Oh, okay. You could have been down there, but you yeah, chose yeah, to be with us. Bless you. May the most high bless you, especially even for that. 22. Look what it's at. So that the generations to come of, of your children that shall rise up after you and the stranger that shall come from a far land shall say, when they see the plagues of the, uh, of the land, of that land, and the sickness which Yah has laid upon it, 
and the whole land thereof of a brimstone and salt and burning that is that is that it is not sown or beareth uh, nor any grass groweth therein like it groweth of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adam and Zeboam, uh, which Yah overthrew in his anger and in his wrath, even all nations shall say, Wherefore have Yah done this unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yah the Elohim, the Elohim of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. Why is this stuff happening? Because he, he, he the, the 25th, the men shall say, because they have forsaken the covenant of Yah, the, the Elohim of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshiped them gods whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against this land and to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And Yah rooted them out of the land in anger and in wrath and great indignation and cast them into another land as it is to this day, as it is to this day, as it is to this day, they still there. Shabbat shalom. we everywhere. The secret things belongeth unto to Yah Elohim, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. For how long? Forever. That we may do all the words of this law. Now, I'll stop right there. I'm probably going to pick it up in 30 maybe, but y'all, um, what happened to us in the land is because we broke the covenant we made with him when he brought us about the land of Egypt. I keep continuously bringing back to our attention that in Genesis 15, 12 through 14, when the Most High was entering into the covenant relationship with Abraham, he gave him the dream that what would happen to his children, that they would be in a strange land that they didn't know nothing about. And they would there be slaves and mistreated for 400 years. He started off letting you know that. When we read in Deuteronomy, right, that hadn't even happened yet. This is now showing you why it happened. He prophesying right here. He letting you know, you the people, you thought you was forsaken, Jeremiah 31, 30. Uh, one, you thought you was forsaken? No, he said, I made a new covenant with you. You thought you was replaced by the church? No, I made a covenant with you. And when you broke it, I didn't go get somebody else. I made, I re, I re, I hooked you, I re-hooked you up. But I'm going to beat your dog on behind first. Oh, you're going to learn something. You're going to be a slave. You're going to be raped. You're going to end up in zoos. You, 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 you're going to learn something. You're going to get beat the heck. You're going to get drugged through the... You're going to be embarrassed in history class when you're in the classroom and they're telling all them other kids where they came from and the prosperity. And then they're going to tell you you started in Jamestown as a slave. Yeah, you're going to feel real funny when they slang around the N-word. Even, even though the N-word ain't even a bad word. We, we worse with the term black. We was better with Negro. It was more true. Straight up. We came, they, when they kidnapped us, they got us from Negro land by way of Jerusalem. We was on a run. It was rough. It was rough for us. Every, every since we said, give us Barabbas, we've been on a run. But we still knew who we were. The whole world knew who we was, including them Hamites that helped them catch us. So they, they're being disingenuous 
when they say Africans, oh, you were talking about slavery. Y'all, y'all helped us catch y'all. No, no, no. It, it, just like you can say Americans killing Americans. Come to find out the American white cops is killing the, the American black citizens. That's two different people in the same land. You ain't trick. What happened in Africa, it ain't Africans uh, of, of killing Africans, but it is, but you're being deceitful. It's Hamites mm -hmm. on. turning on Israel, on. both abiding in Africa. Two different people. Israel wasn't helping catch Israel. Mm -hmm. Israel was in their land on the run. Mm -hmm. And they was they in the maps it showed that there was Negroes there, which is Israel. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. And the time from the slave, everybody knew who they was all the way up to the time that they were captured, including themselves. And when you look at the slave voyager websites and look at the cargo, almost everybody on them ships had the name of Yah in their name. That's why the Bible said, if my people were to call by my name, because we were called by the name of our Elohim. Just like Zechariah, Nehemiah, Obadiah, Zephaniah, so on and so forth. We were literally called by his name. But we knew who we were then. But when they started shipping us and scattering us across the world, they were in charge of our learning. And we were prime candidates to get jacked for our identity. We wouldn't know the difference. They raising us and teaching us now. So as we're being scattered, our enemy is over us, teaching us. Brainwashing us. Those of us that knew they had to beat some, they killed. To get them to switch from truth to being Catholicized, Christianized. Nobody switching from Passover to no doggone Easter without without. Getting burnt, burnt at the stake. Folks was, I ain't going for that. Your children gonna go for it if they kidnap them and ship them over here and ship them over there. And and come on, the, the children raised. Happy Easter. They raised that way. Put your little Easter dress on. What you getting for Christmas? You raised that way. Thank you, Jesus. You raised like that. Sweetest name I know. Something about the name of Jesus. Sweetest name I know. You raised like you ready to fight. But you got to understand we back to a spiritual state that we was when we was in Egypt. We knew of him, but we didn't know him. We know of him now. But how much do you know him? And how... How Catholicized are you to the point if you heard truth, would you reject it? That's why you got jokers running around here. What difference do it make? Because you Catholicize. You don't know all the prophecies in the book. It's aimed at your rescue. You don't even know the significance of Passover. It was to remind you that you got rescued. That's what Passover is for. The deaf angel passed over. Then they went in their houses and they had the meal with bitter herbs, the bitterness of slavery. And it's a reminder of what he delivered you from. And we were never supposed to forget what he delivered us from. When he, when he delivered them out of Egypt, they already had a jump start and a reason to obey him. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of knowledge. Through the Egyptian, through the Egyptian captivity, they found out what it felt like to be servants and slaves. They found out what it was to be mistreated. Then he rescued them from them. Then he gave them a feast, the Passover, and then seven days of unleavened bread. And the unleavened bread represents living without sin in your life. It was an eight day situation. Passover, then unleavened bread. And what he taught them was, 
Remember this so you'll never have to experience it again. Rain Joshua, good to see you in here. Did I speak to you, Rhonda Ponda, already? Pull up a chair. We the people. Now what? Part nine. Listen. So, now that we taste what slavery is, we shouldn't want to go back. And the feast days remind you of that. Did you learn that in church? No. No. Happy no. Easter. That's what you learned in church. Mm -hmm. You learned Happy Easter mm -hmm. in replacement of the Passover. Mm -hmm. It'd be different if it was a, a, something different, though it is. But no, they got it in scripture as if that's what it evolved to. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you follow the Messiah, they had the Passover meal. It wasn't Easter, nor was it another uh, substitute, communion. They had the Passover meal. His disciples came to him and said, where do you want us to set up for the Passover meal? And he told them where to go. That was Passover they was eating. Not communion. And it sure wasn't Easter either. But yet, Communion and Easter is the substitute. What's the origin of it, though? What's the real origin of that? What's the real origin of communion and Easter is what I'm asking. It's satanic. If you look into it. Oh, we're going to deal with it. I'm just messing with it. So I'm, 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 I'm preaching something here. We, we 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 the people now what? <laughs> this is what. This is what. We gotta get to the bottom of some stuff. What y'all been teaching us? What y'all y'all done through a what y'all doing? So look at this. Thirty. We're gonna keep doing it until <laughs> I just got started. Y'all say the same. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Look what it says. And it, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind amongst the nations where the Yahweh Elohim has driven thee. What's going to come to mind? What I'm telling you now. What's going to come to mind, 30 and 1, Ma, Deuteronomy 30 and 1. What's going to come to mind is everything he taught us in Deuteronomy at Mount Sinai. We learned all this stuff in Mount Sinai. We entered into a covenant agreement with the Most High in Mount Sinai. He said, when you're in the land of captivity, you're going to be able to say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Christmas? Wait, Easter? Wait a minute. He ain't white. That ain't his name. Wait a minute. What they got us doing? They got us doing what we just read in 29, why he did it. He said he did it because they were serving El other Elohims. What they got us doing now? Serving other Elohims. He said he did it to them because they cheated on him. Oh, come on, y'all. That's why he did it. All right, y'all want to play with me? Let's go. Keep your finger there. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to play with me? Let's go back to Acts, seventh chapter. Since we're dealing with it, let's dig in the mud then. Seven.
I'm going to start at 35. I'm going to start at 37 because I just don't want to make it too long. 37 is cool enough for now. Acts 7, 37. Look what it says. This is the Moshe which said unto the children of Israel, a prophet shall Yahuwah raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me, him shall you hear. And y'all know that's when the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, the Messiah, right? That's going to be the real prophet. 38 first. This is he which was in the church. Here we go with these funny uh, terms, y'all, but we'll get over it for right now. But we see that stuff now, don't we? Church really being, you, you know, it's that Roman Catholic church. It, 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 it's, a, it's a pagan assembly. But anyway, we're going to say assembly here. This is he that was in the assembly in the wilderness, which the angel which spake to him in Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give to us, right? Mm -hmm. To whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt. So they turned back into Egypt in their hearts, right? They turned on, they turned on Moshe, on Moses, right? saying on the Aaron, make us gods to go before us. For as for this Moshe, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we what not what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days. This is what he jumped off right here. This is it right. I want y'all to see this. This is it right here. They made a calf in those days and offered sacrifices onto the idol. They tore their drawers when they did that. Mm -hmm. They tore their drawers when they did that. And rejoice in the work of their own hands. Then Yah turned and gave them up. I'm done with you. Here you go. This is it. Then Yah turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven. As it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, you have offered to me slain beasts and sacrifice by the space of 40 years in the wilderness. Yea, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch. They told they draws right here, y'all. Telling you. Wow. And the star of the God of your God, Rimphan, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Now they finna get carried away away beyond Babylon. That's when judgment was passed. Y'all finna serve that dream that I gave to Abraham when I first met him. When I first entered into a covenant agreement with him, y'all finna go beyond Babylon. That's when the pronouncement of exactly that he was gonna do it to him. Now I'm finna do it to you. You going beyond Babylon. That's when he decided that. In the wilderness. You going beyond Babylon right there. And that's exactly what happened to him too. Are y'all with me? Now we beyond Babylon. We beyond Babylon now. Zion is in the land of the daughter of Babylon, to be more precise. Straight, we 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 feeling it. With all this sickness that's going on, everybody twists, everybody's so horny and sexually sick. You bump into somebody, it start vibrating. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Brother? A brother bumped into a brother and he started squirting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wicked as folks goodness. is. <laughs> <laughs> Children twisted. They all twisted. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to untwist them or he going to kill them. That's it. Wow. Bottom line. The times we living in, look at the word. Okay. Oh, well, let's read it. Okay. I'm going to read a nice version. I'm just going to show you this. Back to 30. Well, that's what was that? Deuteronomy 30. Look at this. Deuteronomy 
do the drum heavy. Look at Look at this. Back to one. Thirty and one. We finna get out of here, y'all. I don't. How? What? What time is it? I don't want. This is so good. I just don't want to keep going, though. No. We're gonna. We're gonna keep. We do this eight times a week, ma. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. We do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> been here. Yeah, oh. you be with me. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Do the rhyme at thirty-one. Look what it's at. And then we'll get you. What time is it? Look what it's at. It's twelve thirty-seven. We fine. And it shall come to pass that when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations. Where are you going to call it to mind? Among the nations where the Yahweh Elohim has driven thee. You're going to wake up in the land of captivity, in Babylon. That's where you're going to wake up at. You're going to say, wait a minute. What have I done? What am I doing? All of us. Club and strip clubs, dropped it like it's hot, twerking, backing it down, backing it up, lifting it back up, popping that joke and tossing it across the room. Shake it like a bag of chicken. So y'all with me? <laughs> Hang in there with, with you, y'all father. We, we, we'll be through this in one minute. You know how I teach. Most high got me on one. Uh -huh. I'm doing the best best I can to yield to the truth. I ain't got time for no game. Listen. And it shall come to pass that when all these things have come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I said before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind amongst the nations where the Yah thy Elohim has driven thee, and shall return, listen, and shall return on the Yah thy Elohim. We turn it back to him, right? And shall obey his voice. Listen, according to all the commands, I command thee this day. Not the crap you got when you was in captivity. This day. I'm teaching you the real right now. This day. Thou and thy children. That's what I wanted. With all thy heart. We got, not only do we got to turn, we got to turn our children. With all our heart and with all our soul. With all our heart and with all our soul. And with all our heart and with all our soul. Listen. That then Yahweh Elohim will turn thy captivity. Y'all want to get out of here? Get out this mess we in? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Then Yahweh Elohim will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahweh Elohim has gathered thee. It's about that time, y'all. Mm -hmm. Is it hot enough in the kitchen or not yet? It's hot. Oh, it's it's hot enough. Smoking. You still got some mattress dreams that you trying to? No. Or are you ready to get up off the mattress and get no. get rid of all this food, all this sexual perversion and sickness, <laughs> all these drugs and come on. Yeah. All, all, all these all these fake Elohims, all this Catholicism and mm -hmm. all cheating on him with all these mixtures and stuff. I want the real thing. Yeah, hallelujah. Are y'all with me? If any, if any of thine be driven out onto the uttermost parts of heaven, well, they all know the place. That's all right. Mm -hmm. If any of thine was thine, any of the Hebrews, any of our children, any, come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. If any of thine be driven out to the outmost parts of heaven, from this will Yahweh Elohim gather thee, and from this will he fetch thee. And Yahweh Elohim will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will and he will do thee good and multiply thee what above, above thy fathers. fathers. Ooh, Ooh, is that, that big? Hallelujah. That's big right there. Multiply. That's big right there. I'm ready to get us out of here, y'all. Back to Jeremiah thirty-one, thirty-one. We just gleaning a little bit. Put a two in here if you're learning something. Put a two in here if you're learning something. Back to Jeremiah 31, 31. Put a two in here if you're learning something. If you're being edified. Put a two in here. Put a two in here if you're being edified. You're learning something. Jeremiah 31, 31. Jeremiah 31, 31. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put a two in here if you're learning something. Yes, right. 31, 31. Look what it say. Y'all take this lesson and, and, and send it to a pastor. Mm, mm. A pastor that you care about. 
They say it don't matter. <laughs> as long as we got Jesus, it don't matter. Send it to him. If they want to talk about it, tell them to call me. How many of y'all willing to send it to a pastor? Put a three in here. Put a three in here if you take this and send it to a pastor. Put a three in here. Everybody ain't willing to send it to nobody. I don't know. Put a three in here if you're willing. Put a three in here if you're willing to send this lesson to a pastor. And give him permission to call me. Send it to heck of them. That means several in Ebonics. Listen, 31, 31, look what it says. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I'll make a new covenant with the church. Oh, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them. Listen. But this shall be the covenant that I'll make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yahuwah. I will put my law in the inward parts. That's it, y'all. It's going to be in their heart. Are y'all with me? I'll put my law in the inward parts and write them in their hearts. And I'll be the Elohim. And they should be my people. Hey, we the people, y'all. We the people. Man, man, I can hit a backflip because times is goofy. When times are approaching to the level that we about to face. But you know that's his plan and it's a part of him rescuing you. Do you know what that do? Had we been raised knowing all the feast days and the festival and the true definition of what it means, mm -hmm. our whole attitude would be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can see clearly, listen to me, you can see clearly that he allowed them to go through slavery and then he gave them Passover, right, and unleavened bread mm -hmm. to remind them of that. Mm -hmm. And he said, and this is to be passed down to all generations. Mm -hmm. It never was supposed to stop. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, when we lose our position and we get shipped into slavery, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden these jokers come mm -hmm. and they slid that out the equation mm -hmm. and came in with Easter. Mm -hmm. Replaced it with Easter. And Catholicized folks, oh, that's, that's the death bearer. Rest. That's, mm -hmm. no, nah, you got, you got yeah, that blues with baby bubble. Because mm -hmm. Cause he was he was on some. This was a good day coming where we're not gonna be saying, oh, "Blessed be the Elohim that delivers out of the land of Egypt." Well, best blessed be the Elohim that delivers out of the land of the north and all the other nations where he scattered us. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This it's a whole nother. We getting ready for a whole nother thing that the fake Jew pretended that it happened in 1947. They went up and started killing the Palestinians, pretending to be us. Are y'all with me? According to scripture. To fulfill, I'm finna go, y'all. To fulfill the scripture, when Noah said, after Ham sinned against him, Noah said, curse be Canaan. In that same passage, he said, Japheth shall dwell in the tents of Shem. The, the Ashkenazi Jew is Japheth's children. Okay. And they're pretending to be Shem. And they physically dwelling in the house of Shem. Mm, Are y'all with me? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're the Gentile. Jerusalem is trotting down. Jerusalem is the tent of Shem. Yeah. That's Shem's house. Jerusalem is Shem's house. But Japheth is there, the Ashkenazis. The word is so cold, boy. He don't leave no stone unturned. Give him a praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, y'all. Hallelujah. 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 It's all right. It's all right, though. The truth is coming out. Wow. That's the main thing. Hallelujah.
We mm-hmm. love you. Spirit of the living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity oh. to come before you. Humbly, know how yes, when right. you're present because we love to save your children. Give us truth. Yes. Pour out the truth of your word to your children. Wake us up. Oh. Give us the spirit of repentance. Please. We apologize for the sins of the forefathers. We apologize for our own sins. Yes. Now save us. Save us. Mm. Dispatch your intention bodies. Keep us safe. Keep us in the uh, spiritual Goshen mm. as you judge the nations that harmed your children and hate you. We love you. We believe you. We celebrate the victory. In the match's name, Yahushua, we only pray. Hallelujah. 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 I love y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Any of y'all want to touch the water? You gave your life and your heart to the most high. You want to touch the water? Y'all inbox me. We'll make it happen. If you're across the states, all you got to do is inbox me. We know how to do that, too. Get you to the water in Yahushua's name. Is that all right? Thank everybody that pushed a, 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 a share button. you sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tagged. you telling folks to come in and, 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 and join us on the Shabbat. And thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. Uh, only support this ministry financially if this ministry is spiritually supporting you. You should sow where you grow. Everybody should sow. I'm not saying sow here. Just so here, we grow here. Thank everybody that do. Y'all be Baruch. Uh, y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. Shalom.